Looking for a world that combines a splash of color, playfulness, and creativity? Look no further than Dust in Neon. This artistic world is filled with dreamy landscapes, quirky characters, and a joyful energy that will brighten up your day. In this review, we'll take a closer look at what Dust in Neon has to offer and why it's worth exploring. Dust in Neon is one of the many titles available on Boostroid's cloud gaming platform. Dust in Neon's description seemed rather interesting and it was available on Steam at a discount, so I thought this would be a great way to really test out Boostroid while also providing you with a review of an interesting title. Dust in Neon is a very straight to the point, top down style shooter that doesn't take itself too seriously. Now don't be fooled by its bright colors, quirky story, and appearance, this game can be challenging. In Dust in Neon you play as a cowboy that must complete many different objectives while fighting an army of killer robots. Some of these objectives include things such as killing a specific target or defusing a series of bombs. Once you've completed so many tasks or objectives, you'll be able to unlock a boss battle. Dust in Neon also includes a few RPG elements to help set this shooter apart from the crowd. As you continue to level up, you'll unlock new weapons and shops where you can purchase additional upgrades to help you during battle. I had a love-hate relationship with Dust in Neon. I really enjoyed its setting, art style, and overall gameplay once I got a hold of the movement, but I certainly wasn't a fan of how challenging this game can be at times. My best advice to new players is to use the cover effectively and do your best to avoid being surrounded by enemies. There are a variety of health packs on the map, but do your best to heal up whenever you see your health running low, because if you die, you will lose all of the weapons and currency you've earned during your playthrough. I did mention earlier in this review that I played this game using Boostroid's cloud gaming software. So next, I'll talk a little bit about the performance. Overall, the performance was smooth and solid. I can't say that I had any issues with the overall game or graphical fidelity. Now, all of the footage captured for this review was captured during my playthrough using the platform. Now, if you're interested in signing up for Boostroid, then you can do so using the link in the description. Dust in Neon is a licensed title, which means that you will have to buy the game on Steam in order to play it using Boostroid. Now, Steam does have sales quite often, so keep an eye out for any games you may be interested in. In conclusion, Dust in Neon is a digital art project that should not be missed. With its colorful landscapes, quirky characters, and joyful energy, it offers a unique and immersive experience that will leave you feeling inspired and uplifted. Whether you're a fan of digital art or neon lights, or just want to try something new, Dust in Neon is definitely worth checking out. Thank you for taking the time to watch our quick review of Dust in Neon. If you played this title, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. While you're down there, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you'd like any more video content from us in the meantime, check out my review of the cloud gaming platform Boostroid, or watch my review of Drop System Breach. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.